That wind advisor was in effect all day. It's continuing all the way to the midnight hour. And believe me, after midnight, the winds aren't exactly dying down. We're going to have strong winds through the overnight. Take a look at some of the wind reports from earlier today. Fort Worth at the joint base, a 51 mile per hour wind gush. See, North Lake was a 49 mile per hour peak wind gush reported today. Alliance, 48 miles per hour. DFW, 44, so some very strong winds. There at the end of the day, if you looked off to the west, you could just see a glimpse of the sun getting below horizon, and then it lit up the sky quite nicely. Temperatures today, 83 degrees, tied for the warmest day we've had so far this year. 65 was the very warm overnight low, both numbers well above normal for this time of year. And take a look at temperatures now. Keep in mind, we're typically in the mid 70s for a high. We're above that right now at Dallas at 77 degrees, and it's just about everybody is at least in the mid 70s, so it's a very warm night still. Out across North Texas, but look at the very cold air just up to our northwest. We have a cold front coming in, not really cold air behind it, but it's enough of a front to get some showers going as the winds will turn to the northwest. So this is at eight in the morning. We think there will be some passing showers. They'll be fast moving. Don't expect a lot of rain, but expect a lot of wind going on right before the front and right after the front. It looks like the better chance of rain will be in our eastern counties. And by the time we get into the afternoon, let's be thankful this front's not coming through the Metroplex by 3, 4 in the afternoon. Because by 3 and 4 in the afternoon, when it's off to our east, we're going to have a severe weather outbreak. We'll be around 80 degrees by afternoon or upper 70s and breezy. This is the next rain chance after tomorrow. It's on Friday. We're going to watch this very carefully. There's a risk of severe weather. All depends on the timing, what happens to the dry line and the cap. But I think it's late in the the afternoon and early evening on Friday, the risk of some strong thunderstorms, if not severe weather, will be going on. This looks to clear out, by the way, by the weekend and a dry weekend in store for us. We've been dry. We've been talking about this the last couple of weeks. Every month has had a rainfall deficit, and we've had no rain so far in April. So this is some good news next week. Next week, there is odds, good chances of above normal precipitation. And ever since you know we started the month, we've been a little warmer every day, including today's tying for the warmest day so far this year, like I said earlier. But next week, next week we're gonna have below normal temperatures, it appears. So 80 on Thursday and mid 80s on Friday. We're back in the 80s on Sunday, but we have rain back in the forecast on Monday and Tuesday.